What's up everyone, it's Marco from PhoneDog.com and it's been a while since I've done a 30 day challenge here at PhoneDog.com and there's been good reason for that. Why? Because there's been so many phones being released the past three months and now we have all those phones out, we have the reviews, all the videos of PhoneDog.com so make sure to go check those out if you haven't already but it's time to make a 30 day challenge and it's all about the HTC One M8. Since I've used it for over a month now, I think I could add a really great deal of depth into my HTC One I made 30 day challenge just because I've used the phone as my daily driver. I actually haven't used my iPhone for quite some time. Now I've used my iPhone here and there mainly for Instagram photos, uh, but just as general, the, uh, the HTC One I made was my personal daily driver. Now so far it's been a very easy going road. One, it's built like a tank. It's a beautiful device. It is a slippery phone. That's just one thing I want to out there. It's a super slippery phone. The camera is not very good, uh, but the software is awesome. The processor speeds, the RAM, all the, all the hardware inside the phone is quite amazing compared to a lot of phones, and it really stacks up very well to something like the Samsung Galaxy S5, which on paper is a more powerful processor and just a, I guess, a more powerful phone thanks to that extra 801A chip, while this one has the 801C uh, chip that runs a, at 2.3 gigahertz. Now, other notes about the HTC One is it is quite a handful. It's a bigger phone. It's a five inch display, about 5.5 inches tall in, in total uh, length. And it's a lot bigger than the old HTC One, which was almost like a perfect size at 4.7 inches. It had great sides and it fit in one hand very, very well. Now I've used phones like the Nexus 5 as my daily driver in the past and I really do like stock Android. Stock Android is kind of that software that just shows you what the essence of using Android is. It's super fast, it's super responsive, and it's very, very clean. Now the HTC One M8 runs a skin called Sense 6, which is an evolution of HTC Sense, basically the software that's ever been on HTC phones ever since the first Droid Incredible or the HTC Droids that were maybe in 2008, I believe. Uh, but Sun 6 is a quite good skin. Now, in my opinion, it's much better than Samsung's Touch was. Why? Because I think it's more responsive. It's definitely more visually pleasing. Uh, and there's definitely more features that I would actually use on Sun 6 compared to Samsung's Touch was. Now, I don't completely prefer it over stock Android now. Uh, I did before, but now after using Sun 6, I have noticed a couple of bugs in the software. And I'm sure those are things that could get worked out in firmware updates. Uh, but so far, they are still still standing in terms of bugs, and we'll get to those bugs in the future videos concerning software and the skin on top of Android. So I do want to keep this introduction brief and short, so let me know what you guys think about the HTC One M8. Also, if you have any questions or comments or uh, requests of what you want to see in specific detail, like even the camera review, uh, just because I know everyone talks about the HTC One M8 and the camera not being very good, and I do agree with that it's not the best camera, but if you guys want to see some kind of in-depth camera comparison, uh, uh, compared to things like the iPhone, uh, definitely leave those in the comments below or send them to my Twitter at phone dog underscore Marco. And also, if you guys want to see anything covered in specific detail in the whole 30 day challenge, make sure to leave me a comment below or send them again to my Twitter account. But for now, my name is Marco Hanna from phonedog.com, and I'll see you guys in the next video.